Hi, I'm Anna from Esso Lady Tarot in Amsterdam. Let's talk a little bit more about Rider Waite Smith spreads. Tarot spreads, specifically with the Rider Waite Smith system or the Rider Waite Smith deck. I asked on Instagram uh, in a little poll what you guys would like to see a little more, and one of the answers was to see more spreads with the Rider Waite Smith. And to me, this is kind of a surprise, actually, because there is so much information <laughs> available about working with the Rider Waite Smith system, about working with the deck, specifically with that deck. Now, I love it. It's definitely my go-to, one of my favorites. But uh, to see some new information about that is a little bit challenging. I'm just... I hope I can bring something new to this vast information that's already out there and readily available. But I also kind of like it because it made me think. I kind of like this challenge with tarot. Any exercise is actually playing with the cards, having fun with the cards. So um, thanks for that. That was my disclaimer. It's really hard to bring something new to the table, but let's try. First of all, I was thinking, what is special about the Rider Waite Smith deck? Well, it's pretty obvious. There is a clear scene depicted on every card. That is what makes this deck so appealing to people, what makes this deck perhaps a little bit easier in a way, but then again not, but you know what I mean, easier to work with, a little bit easier to interpret. At the same time, in the minors, in the the number cards, this is just you know, an example of a number card. This is just one of the possible energies, situations, depictions of the energy at play here, of the meaning of the card. One possible meaning of the card. So, on one hand, it's easy because you really get to see and you get to put yourself in the card a little bit more. It, it is like a mirror, and any tarot deck is that, but this one especially. And on the other hand, it's not exactly complete system, but that's, you know, that comes from someone who loves Marseille. It works differently. That's what I thought about. The Rider Waite Smith is obviously special in the way that it depicts a clear scene on every card. And so I made up a thing. It got me thinking, and I got a few ideas that I hope I can all put into videos that are all equally interesting, so you may see a little bit more of the Rider Waite Smith deck coming up. I keep, and I know we all do, I keep discovering different things in the cards, in the tarot, in the meaning, but also in the details. When you think you've seen everything, then all of a sudden, the whatever, the, the, the way that a hand is drawn in one of the cards can, can all of a sudden trigger something else in you. That is exactly what the tarot is supposed to be, you know. The cards are always the same, but you are not, and therefore you see different things in the cards. Therefore the meanings of the card change through the, through the years, and we all know how much I love that. So let's get into this. I've actually named it Cardception. <laughs> now, I'm not sure if that's really a good name for it, but the idea, which I believe, because it's impossible to do that, in my opinion, I believe I'm not the first one to have ever come up with this method. But the idea is that you make a spread from one tarot card. Just remember, the question was, I would like to see more spreads using the Rider Waite Smith. If you use this method and get to spend some extra time with your deck, use your eyes, use your brain, use your senses, you will be able to make the spread. Now, if you use this method that I'm going to explain now, you won't just have a few spreads using the Rider Waite Smith system, you'll have 78 spreads because there are 78 cards. You're welcome. I'm going to perform a cardception right now. For example, the Page of Swords. What do we see on the cards? We see clouds rising, we see birds, we see the page holding uh, his sword with both hands, we see his long hair uh, in the wind, 
we see these trees who are also kind of bending in the wind and we see some mountains in the background this ground is pretty look pretty green looking and he has these red boots and green tights and he's making this big step he's kind of elegant isn't he pretty elegant page we have here now we can of course go deeper into the colors but that's basically what we see. So the energy I'm getting from this card is very much the clouds are rising and they are moving fast and his hair is loose in the wind that to me expresses a type of wildness and a, a freedom and also this eagerness to get out into the world. He really wants to prove himself and thinks he can take anything. There is that still I cannot help but see that in this card, there is still that side of it that means he is overestimating himself from time to time. As I mentioned, he's making that big step, which means he's also, he looks kind of light on his feet. The overall feeling that I get from this card, it looks kind of like he already won, even though he's about to start. It feels like the world is big and just, the world feels so large from the perspective of this card and ready to be discovered. That's the perspective that we're working with. The world is there for you, the page, you, to be discovered. That's how important you think you are. But hey, it can be a really good and strong motivating thing, right? So there's always a good side to, uh, yeah, to, to so whatever dark side, there's also a lighter side. Now, the exercise is take all of these elements, find all of these elements. I've mentioned pretty much all of them in this card, but of course it's all up to you what you see. But it's about seeing all of the elements. You write them down. Alongside that, you write down what the, those symbols mean to you, and then you transform them into questions. That's how you make your spread. The Page of Swords spread would consist of, for instance, birds. Here, birds. How is your sense of direction at the moment? Or which directions should you take? Or if you actually count the birds, there are ten birds there. What does that give you? Ten in the tarot means uh, an end of a cycle and also a beginning. Well, that really very much fits into the energy of this card. What does the Ten mean? The Ten is also the Wheel of Fortune, which is all about change. Then the loose hair, uh, a question could be, how can I be more free and carefree? We have the, the step here, the big step with the, the active red boots. That could be what are the goals that I can focus on within a month? And then the mountains in the backgrounds could be what are the goals that I could focus on f long term? Or maybe obstacles, that's also possible. What about the tree? Did I write down any anything about the tree? The tree I thought of, what can I rely on? Then there's also the green tights, you know, where we mentioned the red boots that are, the red is active and uh, yeah, taking those active steps, but then he has green tights. What does that mean? This inexperience, perhaps, that is still squeezed into this need for action, need for adventure. So, where am I still inexperienced? Where am I still a little bit green or a little bit um, <laughs> naive, perhaps? The sword that he's holding with both hands. I don't know, perhaps you can also just ask the deck, give me a new idea, and then see what comes up. That's also fun. That also could be a, a directed action card at the end of a spread. What I also thought about, which is why actually I'm sharing this exercise with you, I have spent many hours of my life studying this card, and never have I before this exercise, before this thing that I just made up, this cardception, never have I noticed 
this cloud, this quite big cloud right here next to his head and seen not a cloud but a thought bubble. Thank you person who requested this because I feel that I've learned something as well and also I'm definitely going to do some of these spreads I'm just gonna see what card feels good like maybe this one and see all of these details and whatever I can make out of the card and then write down what these symbols mean to me what they remind me of and then transform them into questions as I said make my own, own ten of pentacles spread just like here we made our own page of swords spread now obviously the thought bubble could also be you know what should I focus on now or uh, what is a distraction or what idea should I manifest into reality or again hey tarot deck give me a new idea however random it is it's so much fun to work with the cards in this way and then uh, I hope that in the end after you have actually done the work and made an entire spread out of just one card you will know not only yourself a little bit better from the reading but also the card itself I mean, I'm just saying, to me, it, it's already helpful, it's already good, I'm already happy with that. I'm already happy with actually seeing this cloud as a thought bubble. I'm already, see, I'm already happy to have finally counted and remembered the amount of birds that circle in the distance, or that fly in the distance. There are ten birds. That is meaningful, that can have meaning, that is symbolic, in a sense. Let's just do another example. The death card. Now, don't get me wrong, you can do this with any tarot deck, with any deck, but the, I think the Rider Waite Smith is particularly strong, or Rider Waite Smith based decks, because of this very in your face visual aspect. The scene on every card makes it also, I think, an exercise that's easier for beginners. Because there's not really a need to know the meaning of the card, I think this is just a very fun and pretty elaborate way. Yes, that's the word I was looking for. Pretty elaborate way to get to a certain understanding of the card. So anyway, death. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm showing you a major, but I should really just show you this card, for instance. There are people depicted in certain situations and it's easier to see than in this type of card or even this type of card I like all of them I'm just sharing with you the first questions that come to mind Okay, here we have this white rose how can I be more pure or where can I be more pure in my life then there are the red eyes of the horse. Where can I be more fierce in my life? Or where am I maybe suppressing some anger? There's, for instance, which part of me is ready to die, is ready to go back into the ground, into the earth? Which part of me uh, uh, should survive in this cycle of life? Which part of me, or what could give me hope? What energy could give me hope in the, in the sun in the background? And then uh, what comes up or what goes away? Or even if it fits into the reading, how can I find a certain type of forgiveness? Or how can I forgive myself? And how can I find redemption? in a way, what does this transition look like or what does this transi transition bring me? I actually didn't even get that from the rider on the, on the horse, but I got it from the little boat in the background on the river. So w river is also water. What do I need to be cleansed or what could I use to find a certain cleansing experience or what's underneath my armor, what does smooth sailing look like. I can go on and on and 
maybe even the flag being where can I be more proud or where can I be more myself? The questions that you come up with is also already a reflection of yourself. So it's a double uh, exploration or maybe even triple. It's a triple exploration for just the reading that comes out of it. Like I said, the questions that you come up with, if you're able to analyze those questions, it's hard, but you know, maybe. And then actually getting to know the card even more, even better. You know, now I've actually made a point of it that the eyes of the horse are red. Yeah, and again, you know, this can be done with any deck, but this deck in particular, I know I'm repeating myself, but this deck in particular is great because you actually do get 78 very detailed, very broad also spreads from this deck. Let's see. What am I not seeing? Or where am I hiding my true face, my true self, my true motives? Okay everyone, that's it. Um, yeah, the Rider Waite Smith deck specifically is very strong and has a high potential to work for anyone, also the beginner. So I thank you very much for watching. Please leave a comment to let me know what you thought of this video. Thank you very much and there are more coming. See you soon.